Okay, this is my lab update. Before we were in a closet, now we're in the actual lab. And it's coming along all right. It was a dingy old place, and now it's it's pretty much all enclosed now. Home PVC plastic sealed off from the world. Some crap shelf we put together with some Mexican crates. I think cactus leaves comes in this shit. Uh, bookshelf, of course, you know. Uh, distill it. Uh, you know, for concentrating, whatever. It's a good setup, I love it. Roller cart. I slammed two pieces of shits together. You know, no big deal. It works all right. I did, however, have to beef up the wiggly bastard. All right, so, to the business. Here is my sea of green brown whatever you want to say call it here's my first stage of life right here this is my grain cultures straight out of my so i have my liquid culture mother jars in here there's a golden teacher brew you know i also got my uh sinus and uh this is the Sinus and Goliath strain right here. This is a cool little setup I made. Uh, this is so I don't have to... Uh, so I don't have to puncture into the top of my jars all the time with the with the syringe, uh, CF ceiling syringe support there. This sucker right here, I got a syringe filter right here, one-way valve right here, drops into this tube right here for air exchange in, one-way valve only, and only through the filter, which allows me to suck through right here on this side. This one right here, hook up the old look, lure lock to that sucker, pull back on it when I have the valve set up through to this one straight through here. Lure lock into a syringe, you know, you have the alcohol swab, of course, uh, this puppy right here when you get this thing unscrewed. And then when you get done, you one-way valve it so you got, or you set your valve up so you're going from here to here, then you just freaking some isopropyl alcohol wash out the port and that way you don't have to use a syringe a self healing a syringe port there this thing's all uh for long term extraction of a mother jar for your liquid culture there that way i could pull you know rig after rig after rig after rig out of this puppy see how long i keep it alive then of course i uh, inoculate my uh corn popcorn here you know this one's only a couple days in. Look at the thing already. So what happens when you have ideal temperature. 29.9. I also been throwing a little bit of wood in there just to see. That seems, I don't know, it might be a failed experiment there. I'm not exactly sure. See, some of them just don't take. And versus ones where you just have straight up grain. I don't have any of this one. So this is my first stage of, first stage of uh, grain culture there. And I'll leave them in there for about, oh, a week. Then we'll jump down to here. This is the next stage right here. I need to get another cooler. Pardon my sh ghetto shit here. There's going to be another cooler right here. I have three stages eventually. So, here's my, here's my intermediate. This is an experimentation with fucking millet. I don't think I'm going to use it. People think it's the bomb. I think it's pretty gay. I have some millet took off. Some millet just doesn't look great. Okay. I also have circulation fans in there. They have helped out a lot keeping that temperature constant. Okay. Ghetto, ghetto, I know. Shut the fuck up. I know. All right, I fucking know. Okay. I'm talking about building shit on a budget, okay? Even though I did. Even though I did uh, spend a little bit on the STC 1000s here, this thing's a knockoff piece of shit. STC 1000, basically. These are my, uh, this is my STC. This is a, a 3008-2008 here. Just a dual temperature zone. Eventually I have another zone down here. Here's my, here's my other liquid culture mothers here. These are my uh, Costa Rica and my Puerto Rico uh, Cubenzi strains here. I've had these forever. I just keep them on a cold life. That way they stay forever. Slowly, slowly grow. 
I still pull from those ones in a while. In fact, I got a couple right here. All right, so then after they sit here, I get full, uh, full uh, coverage there in the mycelium. I dump them into these puppies right here. This is my first stage right here. And this is just be non indirect sunlight, non air exchange. Sitting at 24.3 to 22. I think I had to set up at tops of, uh, let's say 23.5 to 23 uh, degrees to 23.5 at tops on both sides, I believe. Yeah. So anywhere between those two, it comes on heat, heats up my mat, done deal. Sit in there for about uh, a week or so, and then I'll pop up to here. And all I have to do is exchange the lid tops. I've uh, thought this out pretty good. So the mat, heat mats stay there, and they transfer through life, and then they'll go up to these ones. And these puppies right here. I have my temperature set, and then I have my relative humidity I can change. Anywhere from 80 to 100% relative humidity on both of these puppies. I know what you're thinking. How the fuck are you going to control humidity? Well, the... <laughs> I got some for that. Let's see how these puppies are doing. You can see now. I guess we could do some looking. This one right here, I just transferred up today. I got this lid done today. It's what the update's about. I don't have full coverage, but it'll get there. It's going. It's growing pretty quick. There's the sensor. Here's this one that's been in there a little bit longer. There. Oh yeah, it's just true in there. It's perfect. It's gonna be starting sprouting soon. Okay. Storage, of course, for everything. That's a lot of popcorn. Yeah, this is all my shelf I use when I'm inoculating and setting up everything, all the chemicals and whatnot. Distilled waters, you know, Bunsen burners, fucking things just to uh, weigh out stuff and measure scales. My glove box for when I'm. Uh, Inoculating jars, anything that needs to be in an ultra clean environment. Stick my little hand through there, alcohol the whole sucker down. It seems to work pretty good. I've had 100% uh, success. I haven't had one dirty jar. Uh, 2000 watt fucking autoclave, not a pressure cooker. That is autoclave, and that thing gets crazy. You can see how hot it gets. It burnt the fucking table. <laughs> it don't fuck around. Now, this thing, this motherfucker thing right here. What the fuck are they right here? This is my invention. I should be getting it done next year or so. It's the dehumidifier, humidifier. Uh, also, the um, just so it's the distilled water collector dehumidifier slash humidifier. Yeah, came up with that the other day. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, that's gonna be interesting. Ha, ha, ha.